HorrorDomain.com Just keep telling yourself it's only a website. Here's something a little different for you, Disney, Knott's Berry Farm, and other theme park fans. These are, are just, it's so cool, I can't believe I even own them. But I'm going to be putting them in auction for my next iCollect auction on December 8th. These are actual props, not just from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but these were all taken from the ride in the early 70s. So these props were there on the ride opening day and were pulled from service. You know, in the early 70s, 72, 73. Let's start with a parrot that you, you see, you well, you used to see flying around at the beginning of the ride. You can see it has a loop on the bottom. It probably went on a zip line or flew around in a circle. This is a head, which I believe it's the one that is the old man in the chair smoking the pipe when you first go in around that first corner. I've also matched this to a character in the Haunted Mansion. Now you look in black, it's all fiberglass. There's an access panel in the back that's been riveted on. He looks like he had some kind of water coming out of him. That's what makes me think he had the pipe. So because it was probably some kind of mist to represent smoke. Next, we have a cannon, which, oh man, this, I mean, this is so cool. There's actually a hero side, but if you look at it from this back side, it's more plain. So when you're going through the pirate ship scene, this had to have been on the fort side, because it's made to see from this angle and from this angle. Again, this was taken from the ride back in the late 60s, early 70s. Oh my god, coolest of these pieces, of course, is this. You know, an original ch treasure chest, which I've screen matched to early footage and photographs from the ride. You can't see, but in back here, there's provisions for a speaker. And these hands here pr didn't really function correctly, so I'm assuming that was why it was taken from service then. They went from having hidden speakers in the little attractions to probably overhead speakers that give you a better sound. Now over here we have miscellaneous things. Some of these are from Disneyland, some are from Knott's Berry Farm, um, other miscellaneous attractions from the 60s, early 70s. The clown. This head here is from the old shooting gallery, which I believe was the Frontier Town shooting gallery. Of course it's a bison buffalo head. This head, unfortunately I couldn't place, but it has to be something from Haunted Mansion. Now, it's made of fiberglass. Now, it started, would open up, so you could see the night inside. Then it would close and turn, and turn around whilst it was closed. So when you opened it up again, you saw the skull. Again, I didn't get any kind of irrefutable screen match on this, but it's definitely from the 60s, and what other theme park would produce items of such quality? The Pirate Girl, which when I first saw this, I was thinking maybe it was something from It's a Small World, which she is a child, but again, some of these things I just haven't done enough research on. Next over here, we have an old caricature head of what sure looks to be Paul McCartney. It was also a Linda McCartney. A gorilla and a very cute pirate girl. Below here is, is it, it's a piece of pirate, a piece of history of Southern California. These are actually the original study maquette dioramas for Knott's Berry Farm and the Calico Ghost Town attraction that they bought, I think it's out in Barstow, over by Vegas, which the detail and artistry on this are just off the charts. You have the inside of the saloon with the dance hall girl, um, the two gamblers duking it out, and the funniest part about it is if you can catch it inside here, if you see the 
bartender's hair. He's just scared to death because he's afraid he's going to get shot and his whole bar is going to be. And then you got the guy hiding down here. You got the drunk guy here. He doesn't care who's shooting and he's just wasted. The, the, the dance hall girls are still containing the show because they see a fight every night. A classic old western saloon scene. Outside here, you have the Calico Ghost Town Cemetery, which is still there today. They just don't have these displays. These displays went back and forth between the, the parks. So sometimes these were at Calico Ghost Town, sometimes they were at Knott's Berry Farm. You know, the horse, and you've got the old covered wagon there. You know, now the Calico Ghost Town, because when Knott's died, he donated the park, or his family donated the park, to the state of California which is now a national landmark as well as a state park. That being the case, this is literally a piece of California history. HorrorDomain.com Subscribe or suffer the consequences.